G'day, Matt Burke here. I'm at my brother's place at the moment and I'm going to ask him a few questions about who's their favourite player at the moment in the World Cup. But as I've seen so far, there's a couple of curveballs. Tonga beating France. That is outstanding. I think that could rate as one of the games of the tournament so far. But let me introduce my brother's big fans. One, well, one plays, one used to play, one thought he could play. Let's go meet him right now. This is my nephew, Nicholas, and my brother, Troy. G'day, boys. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, favourite moment of the World Cup so far? Uh, it definitely has to be Tonga beating France yesterday. The effort from the Tonga boys was just sensational. It was just a great game to watch. What about that? They just bashed them. That, that was that was the thing about it. The physicality was mm. right up there. Yeah, the forward pack was just all over France, and they had nothing to stop them. So what what can France do though? What can France do to, uh, in a way, make themselves well? They're going to go through to the quarterfinals anyhow and have a crack. Are they a show? Are they a chance? It doesn't look like it unless they step up in defence and. You know, figure something out in the attack. It doesn't look like they're going to go very far. Let's go to let's go to Nick's dad. This is Troy. Um, favorite moment World Cup so far? What's your what's your call? I would say the opening ceremony, the dueling harkers. <laughs> Tonga and New Zealand. Yeah, I think that set set the platform for a, for a great World Cup. Well, there you go. Did Tonga did Tonga mentally spent from that first game straight away? They got beaten by Canada after that, mm. and then you know they beat France. They could have been in a in a quarter final. I think they did. They just they they probably prepared. Too much for it. They they spent too much energy, mental energy as well, and uh, it was a bit of a shame. But yeah, it was it was just a it was just a great opening. Talk me through the Ireland game, uh, Australia Ireland. What what were, you, what were you thinking about that one there when it was all unfolding? Oh, it was just wasn't very good from an Australian point of view to watch. Just no, like when Ireland were just all over us in defence, shut us down. And, didn't really have any answers for So it. tell me, where, where are you watching this? Are you watching this at home? Are you watching this at the pub with your mates? What's the story? I was watching that game at home with a few of my mates here. And it was just, I was good to watch, but then just frustrated from an Australian point of view. Okay, what about then, uh, what about that, Troy? What were you doing? Were you uh, now, we were here, we were watching with Nick, uh, with his mates. So yeah, we was, it was more frustrating. Uh, the whole game was just completely frustrating. Uh, just from an Australian point. Just disappointing. Tell me, okay, then tell me then, uh, semi-final time, Australia were, were sort of waiting for a result, but mm. it looks like the Italians will go down to Ireland, I reckon, anyhow. Mm. Australia going to take on South Africa. Yep. Chance? Big chance. Aussies? Yeah, big chance, I reckon, South Africa. Faithful. So, we're well, going to South Africa and Samoa the other day, they weren't too promising. Yeah. And Samoa, Samoa are in form at the moment, but um, there was nothing too spectacular from South African point of view, and I think their confidence would be down after that game. Well, they've lost Francois Stein as well with the yeah. shoulder injury, yeah. so he's gone, he's a big threat. Mm. We can kick it from 60. Yeah, can exactly. you kick it from 60? 55. Nice. Well done. Uh, Troy, South Africa? Sorry. Yeah, no, no, I think after yesterday's uh, disappointing game, they won, very disappointing. I think Pocock back playing, he played 40 minutes yesterday. I think he'll muscle up. Um, I think I think the boys will. I think the Aussie boys will get, be right into it. I like it. I like it. I think uh, I think they will win as well. I think Ireland will uh, beat Wales. I think Australia will take on Ireland. It'll be a rematch. Yep. Go the other side. What about say New Zealand now? Carter's gone. I mean that's mm. that's a shame for everybody. Mm. Um, Rich McCaw's got a bad foot. He's not playing this weekend. Are they going to be a chance, or are they sort of just crumbling a little bit? No, I, I think look, Rich McCaw's out. They're only playing Canada. I think this Canada. weekend. Um, they'll arrest him, he'll have another week off, he'll fire up, he's, he's, a, he's a big game player. So who's in the final? Nichols, um, who's in the final? New Zealand, definitely. Yep. Um, England, possibly, I reckon. Really? Yeah, yeah they can turn it on any minute. Mate, they're playing terrible at the moment. No, they can turn it on, uh, Toby Flood with his attack if he, if he yeah. can turn it on. I think there might be a change up, I reckon there might be a change up between the 10s, Flood and, and, yeah, um, and, and Wilkinson, so, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Troy, final? Yeah, no, I think New Zealand definitely um, I think it's going to be a toss up with the, who's going to be the next, uh, going to be up against them. Um, I think it's a hard one. It is all up in the air, right? Still, uh, these, are, these are the supporters. Where are you going to watch it in the final? Oh, probably here. Yeah, we'll have people over, we'll have Barbie, and uh, we'll be watching it right here. Superb. Doesn't matter who's in the final, there's going to be an outcome to see who's going to be the winner of the 2011 World Cup. We'll catch you soon from New Zealand.